What is up my nerd friends? This is Mike Chen and I'm going to show you today how to set up the hard pit switch on the F7 flight controller. On the back side of the flight controller there is a resistor that is currently bridging the VTX switch and the 3 volt 3 pad and then there is the RX5 pad right next to it. The first thing we need to do is desolder that resistor off the board. Sorry for my dirty soldering iron. Sometimes uh, I'm also out of flux, so I'm just going to use a little solder on there to get some more flux on there so I can swipe that oh, that resistor right off. There it goes. And then after that, we are going to tin and then bridge the RX5 and the VTX switch pad. And just make sure that you do not have all three pins bridged because that will mess up the board check it with a multimeter or just give it a swipe with a hot soldering iron just to make sure it's broken. So next we are going to hop into Betaflight and in Betaflight um, the first thing we need to do is free up that RX5 resource and the pin that it's currently attached to. So you're going to type in resource space serial underscore RX Five space none and that will take care of that D02 pad. So next to assign that D02 pad to pin IO1 we're going to type in resource space pin IO space 1 space D02. The next thing that we have to type in to make this work is get our user one up. So we have to type in pin IO box, pin IO, I'm sorry, set pin IO underscore box space equals space 40 comma 255 comma 255 comma 255. That 40 is basically for user one and then that's also associated with pin IO one. So after that, we make sure we type save and enter, and then we will go to our modes tab, and you should see user 1 in the modes tab. I'm going to add aux3 to that so that I can use that to control my VTX, uh, the 10 volt pad that's on the DJI plug. And please note this only works on the DJI plug on the back side of the flight controller. It does not work on the 10 volt pad underneath. So you see as I hit aux3, turns the LED on and off, and that's it.